Hi, so here we are with uh, more products from the Snug Pack range. So this is the Snug Pack Special Forces Sleeping System. So this, as you'll probably know from the Snug Pack range, Snug Pack create um, a number of different sleeping systems. Now what guys have been doing, and girls have been doing for a long time now with the Snug Pack range is combining sleep systems in order to add extra level of insulation when they're out on the ground. So um, Snugpack have taken that one stage further and they've actually designed this system so that um, you have a dual sleeping bag modular system which has a uh, warmer sleeping bag and then a lighter sleeping bag. Some of the changes that they've made to this system though, which you don't see in the original softy range, is that this now has a multi-cam original outer face fabric on both of the sleeping bags, which we'll come into in a little bit more detail in a minute. So, these are the pack size. So this is the larger of the sleeping bags. So this is the um, Special Forces 2 sleeping bag, which is also available independently. And then Will's got the Special Forces 1 sleeping bag. So if you wanted the complete system, you have to carry both of these. Um, but independently, you can carry them off and use them in, as an independent sleeping bags. So the Snow Pack sleeping bag uh, 2, Special Forces 2, has a um, comfort uh, of minus 7. And then the Special Forces Sleeping Bag 1 has a comfort around about minus, uh, sorry, about 5 degrees. When they're combined together, it then gives you a sleep system that's rated at a comfort level of about minus 15. Obviously, when you add layers of compression, or sorry, insulation to one another, then you actually get more insulation from it than rather just stacking them on top. So that's where the mass comes from. So it's a minus 15 sleeping bag comfort level down to minus 20 in, in extreme environments. So what we've got here, if we get rid of these, is the sleep system as you'll see it. What's missing from this at the moment is the baffle system which comes with it, which allows you to connect the two sleeping bags together so that it works through a central zip. In the old days, and certainly what I used to do is I had two independent softy sleeping bags and I'd have to do two zips on them. Whereas now they've got a system that connects them both together so you only have one singular zip to get in and out. But what we've got is the outer sleeping bag, and then we have the inner sleeping bag. But again, what you then have is the baffle system to join them together. So that's it as a system, but Will, do you want to take us through some of the specifications and some of the features that you find on this type of sleeping system? Yeah, so on sleeping bags, you've got a sensor zip that runs all the way down, it's two way as well. Um, so what that means is that you've got a zip from the bottom where if you wanted to get better ventilation than you can do if you want to do a bit of temperature regulation and that's great. What's unique about these as well is that they've got the reinforced uh, footbox area so again if you um, want to keep your boots on worried about getting bumped in the evening then you know you can have your boots in there without damaging the inside of the sleeping bag. Um, overall the construction you'll notice there's no um, stitched baffles on it um, which means is that there's no stitching that where, which is usually in areas where you get cold spots because it's a thinner area of insulation, so you tend to get cold spots building up. Because it's all nice, flat, and clean, uh, it's a fairly, it's a, it's pretty even distribution of warmth uh, throughout the bag. Yeah. So, snow pack sleeping bags have been around for a long time, so we've all used, or probably we've all used them. But what you do find, one of the major things with these is a central uh, zip system means that once you're in it, it's basically a snag-proof zip. So it's really quick to get in and out of. Equally, I mean, we're making some noise with it now, but you can do it quite quietly if you need to, if that's an issue. Um, some of the other things that are nice about it, it's got elasticated hood bits. So, you know, when you are in your um, DOS bag in the middle of the night, and you just want to really snuggle down inside of it, then you can. Each of the sleeping bags have their own different baffles. So the bigger outer sleeping bag in this instance has a, a broader shoulder baffle to keep that heat in if, if your head's out. Um, and they are quite wide bags. So you know what it's like, you're in there, you've got your smock on or certainly your base layers and, and maybe your mid layers if it's really cold. You've got your trousers on, you've got bits and pieces in your pocket still which you have to keep on you. These sleeping bags are broad enough to, to cope with that. Um, so yeah, this is the Special Forces 2 sleep system. Um, the independent sleeping bags are available um, through other pages on the website, but this is the complete system as it, as it stands, a really good system.